The Stafford Speedway Weekly Highlights are presented by Pioneer Cannabis Company. Looking for number four here tonight as the field comes off of turn four. The young lady Ari Jensik leads the field into turn number one in car number 17, but a good run for the 95 for Jay Clement topside. He'll grab the top spot. Setting in second. Padnode looks to the inside. He'll challenge for the lead. His fans love it. Directly in front of Broadcast Central, we've got a brand new leader in less than half a mile with Aspen Hill Farms. Looks to the inside, Kyle. Has a run on Pat Node, and that battle continues to turn one. Two drivers looking for their first win of the season. Jeremy's last win. He's the new race leader up the back straightaway. His last win came last October. One of our final races of the 2022 season for Jeremy Lavoie. Oh, the battle for six gets close. Contact Clement to the outside wall after contact with Kevin Cormier. Pat Node at the point. Two turns left in the competition. Here comes Lavoie back into it. Here comes Alexander Fern and Hammond. They come off the turn. Double greens are waving. And at the finish, wow. Gary Patnode is back in winning form here at Stafford. And they are racing to the bottom of turn number one. And it is Paul LaRue. He won his qualifying round. And now he sets at the front of the field. Here is Tom Fern stepping out of line, the multi-time divisional champion here in the late models, challenging Paul LaRue for the race lead as they come off turn four. It looks like the qualifying round all over again. Here comes Fern, the King Gray machine. Multiple champion, one of the best in full body racing here at Stafford. Tom Fern becomes leader number two on lap number two. Here comes Adam Gray, car number 97. Oh, trouble, turn three, Paul Root hard into the outside wall. It looked like a tire might have gone down on that car. Left front for Paul, caution is out. So the left front, you can see the damage from our vantage point, but here comes the number 79 car of Daryl King. Trouble. Trouble now. And it appears that the 23 car and Andrew Moeller with that number 31 car, the wind stickers to his oh, car. Trouble off turn four. Gamba Corda gets the outside wall at a ton. Caution is out. Driver car 23. And we just caught the out of the corner of our eye, the end of that situation. So the Gamba Corda car. Has an up and down night. He moves back into the top five. Here comes Adam Gray. Tom Fern leaves the door open. Off the turn. They lean on each other. Back to the stripe. By a nose. It is still Tom Fern. And at the line, new leader, Adam Gray, back to the front. Adam Gray looking to add another victory to his credit here at Stafford. He has been almost unstoppable. But here comes car number 42, Michael Ray and Andrew Moeller, the 31. Trouble now. Fern's car got literally sideways for a moment, and Michael Ray took advantage of things. Car 42 is up to second. This time, when they come off turn number four, a familiar name, a familiar sight, Adam Gray back in winning form again here at Stafford. Charlie McDougall, Jason Chapman, Green is out. We are underway. Chapman gets the jump in the outside lane in the red number 44. McDougall battles back oh, to the bottom. three wide to the inside of the racetrack. A big mover and a shaker is Mook moving its way to the front of the field. That's Chris Matthews. Tyler Berry with the number 18 car. Inside lane is moving. Behind Berry is the number one of Charlene. Back up front. Derek Debus, fastest car on the racetrack, 20.457, off the turn to the stripe. It is still. Matthews goes to the point. Yes. Turn number four, and that is Derek Debus, who goes to the inside, looking to take the top spot away. Trouble further back. Olkis hard into the outside wall. Hitting at a ton off turn number four. Bissett Alkis. with him. Yep, is involved. Bissett is also there, looking just as he did before the caution flag, but here comes Derek Debus. Debus sinks it in at a ton. What a run for Derek Debus. So much momentum into turn number three, and he'll take the top spot away as they get to the line. Battling for second now with brother Tyler. Trouble. 
we've got a zero car involved in a melee, and it looks like the carry car, number 69. That is Tyler Chapman into turn three for the final time. Off the turn. Derek Debus back in winning style here at Stafford. Tyler Chapman to finish in second. The green flag is out, and Chris Danielchuk looks like he wants to lead the first lap desperately, but Adrian Paradis, the third, is about to change all of that. Sammy Dell has went around to the bottom of turn number four, and that is going to bring out the caution. But will it stick off the second turn? Still. Here comes Johnny Walker, three, three wide. wide, back straight away. What a run for the 01 with Adrian Paradis in the middle, downy top side. A car gets sideways mid-pack and gets clobbered. A couple of cars uh, shedding some uh, damage there. To the fifth position, forcing Burt Ouellette back to six and the 31 of Ryan Waterman in the seventh spot. Battle for the lead, back straight away. Here is Travis Haidar out of line to the inside of Johnny Walker. New leader off turn four by the time they get to the stripe, Travis Haidar goes to the front. And it appears that now at the bottom of the top 10 is Ryan Waterman. Bobby oh, Stirk. The 46 goes around and gets the outside guardrail, had the car saved and unfortunately the 31 collected car. another car to the inside for Finkbein. The big payday, the big event, the mid-state site development win will go in the record books to Travis Hydar. Looking for the start of our 40 lap SK modified feature event. We are green and it's going to be Daniel Wesson leading the field to one. Dan Trouble turn number one and half the field is involved in an incident from about 15th on back as they stack up in the corner. It is Hines in the outside lane by less than a half a car length. And now Hines out of shape, hard into the outside wall while battling for the lead. A hard, solid hit with the Tyler Hines machine. Michael Jervis gets a good run to the bottom and gets a big bump from Ronnie Williams, who is right there in third. Wesson all by himself in the outside lane. He will lose the top spot. Narducci, here comes Daniel Wesson again does the crossover. Daniel Wesson is more than hungry for success. It is Daniel Wesson back into the lead. Looking for his first Stafford SK win and he is running well and with some of the best right now at the front of the field, including a multi-time track champion to his left elbow and Ronnie Williams. Williams to the inside in turn number four. He wants a crack at the top spot. Here he comes off turn number four. Ronnie Williams is back in winning form here at Stafford. Brian Narducci will finish in second.